Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and we are up to, I believe, episode number seven of our playthrough on Strategic Command World War One. We are playing as the Central Powers, a uh, military activity summary from our last turn. Uh, Ellen Steintown liberated, El Arish captured, Neckel captured, um... French front is pretty static. Uh, I'm pretty, I don't want to say pleased, but things could have been, could be going a lot worse. Um, I do have kind of a plan here uh, in order to try and punch through the lines. Um, I do want to get a gap in between my front lines and my secondary lines. That way, after the front line units attack, they can move back and the next units can move in to attack and possibly fall back as well. Um, I think that's a thing I can do. Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, but I can certainly try and see how it goes uh, the next turn. Uh, Navy-wise, we're not doing so good. We got uh, pushed right out of the North Sea. All of our ships were just completely obliterated by the British. Uh, we do have this one sub up here that is uh, blockading the UK-Russia port. Uh, we've got a smaller fleet moving in with a light cruiser, pre-dreadnought, two pre-dreadnoughts, a full dreadnought, and a armored cruiser. So things aren't looking so good for our Navy. Um, at some point, I had planned on moving and try and set up my own blockade, but uh, that kind of put the kibosh on that. Russian front over here. Um, things are as they have been for quite some time. Uh, they are starting to push through here, which is a little bit concerning. Uh, I'm figuring our next turn we can wipe this guy out here uh, and then maybe move to... Uh, encircle these guys here. Uh, I do want to go for um, on this Novo Georgievsky. But that's a fortress, so and they've got an entrenchment of five. I have no artillery over here. I'm not entirely sure what this blimp can do, except maybe provide intelligence. Um, if we can get our in and around and kind of cut these guys off from one another, then that would probably be the best way to go about it. And at least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Southern uh, Army is uh, facing tough opposition over here uh, on the way to um, the Galician oil fields. We're getting further and further away from the Galician oil fields, uh, which is not what I wanted. I wanted, wanted to take them, but we've been pushed back pretty hard uh, down here. Um, as with most other places, we're kind of sitting at a standstill here. Uh, we did inflict uh, quite a lot of damage on this Belgrade detachment. Uh, they're down to uh, about 50% strength, uh, but they have been just reinforcing them as they go. Uh, I am going to try and maybe circumvent them a little bit, uh, maybe go after Peck down here. Uh, maybe come around, if that is possible. Uh, the Ottomans did join the fight. We've got a lot of Ottoman uh, sea power right here. Guarding the uh, Dardanelles in the uh, entrance to the Bosphorus here. Uh, our forces in the Ottoman Empire in Turkey uh, they just appeared. Uh, we are moving west towards um, Russia, or these Russian units here, uh, as well as action in Egypt. If we can take some of these uh, objectives in Egypt, that'll go a ways for... Uh, well, that was interesting. <laughs> That'll go a ways for our uh, national morale bonus. 
Uh, UK is at 100%. France is at 89%. Italy is at 100%. Uh, Italy joining the war right now on the side of the Entente would be a uh, disaster, to say the least. 95% uh, for the Serbians, 90% for the Russians, 100 for the Americans. Uh, Germany's at 84%, 73 for Austria-Hungary, and 99 for the Ottoman Empire. So let's end the turn and see what they do. Germany celebrates the Ottoman entrance into the war. Austria-Hungary welcomes the Ottoman entrance into the war. Ottoman morale falls due to the loss of Basra. Okay. Theobald von Bethmann Hallweg. Max von Oppenheim, the head of our intelligence bureau for the East, informs us that the Indian Nationalist God Party are plotting to drive the British from their country. If successful, their rising could inflict a devastating blow against the British Empire, helping to pave the way for victory against our most powerful enemy. Uh, would you authorize a payment of 25 MPPs to buy arms for the Indian Nationalist? That would probably be a good idea. Uh, if you agree, our military attache in Washington, D.C., Captain Franz von Papen, will be instructed to buy weapons from arms dealers in the U.S., Send by sea to the Goddard party in India. The aim will be to seize Calcutta. If you say yes, there's a small chance of raising of a rising in India, which would disrupt the UK's income from the British Empire. Uh, however, it is more likely the plot will be discovered and no rising will occur. Uh, so we'll say yes and see what happens. An outbreak of typhus is affecting the combat effectiveness of our forces in the east. Local medical facility cannot cope with the number of required treatments, and if we do not act, then an epidemic is likely to severely decimate our units. <sighs> Providing extra medical aid to the area will cost 50 MPPs at 25 for turn. Won't prevent all the further cases, but saying yes to this will be able to limit the extent to which the epidemic spreads, whereas taking no action will lead to greater losses in our forces. Strongly recommended to say yes. Okay, game. Yes. Italian nationalists claim Trento and Trieste as Italian territories. Indian Cavalry Corps lands in Marseille. Entente naval units blockade imports to Germany in the North Sea. Uh, the key dive Abbas II of Egypt promises to help drive the British from Egypt. Okay. British depose the key dive and appoint Hussein Kamal as Sultan of Egypt. Karl Libnek openly denounces the war in the Reichstag. Scientists report progress in command and control development 54 to 78. All right. 371 for the Germans, 106 MPP for the Austria-Hungarians, and 107 for the Ottomans. General Hamilton is appointed to command the Mediterranean Expeditionary Force. Okay. be snows in the uh, eastern front here. Oh. The Russians are attacking us in Raija. ineffective naval attack so far in the Med, south of Malta. Okay. 
Okay, a round of reinforcements. Uh, why they did that. Two to one damage there. Submarine dives from attack. Uh, three to nothing. Pretty good. are spotting us. Russians are spotting us. Now they're attacking. Defensive artillery is firing. Did nothing, but... So far we haven't taken... Oh, well, there's one. But they are, uh, losing points themselves, so now the Russians are attacking. This is going to be bad if they break through there. There's a national morale objective within reach. <coughs> Something we should probably try and avoid. The frontline units getting shredded and falling back. attack on him should put him down no. or not wow we must be dug in pretty good over there they're not causing a whole lot of damage to us there's one danger of being cut off over here. These guys are in a bad spot. They're kind of thinning their lines a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be any benefit to us, but... Let's find out. Belgrade is back up to uh, full strength. They're entrenching right along the uh, Suez. Uh, Grenadier Corps suffers attrition losses. Royal Navy defeats Von Spee at the Battle of the Falklands. sure what that was all about. Central Power Raiders disrupt Egypt-UK convoys. Entente Naval units blockaded the North Sea. Okay, that was kind of rough. Our Eastern Front is a mess. Uh, Konigsberg Detachment destroyed. Okay. We have a submarine we can deploy. Uh, get you out here. Get this destroyer out here. Okay. Oh, 
O to 3 on that. You move him up, we should be able to take him out. Number 1. Oh, nice. They moved away. Not entirely sure I want to move any more forces out there. But I don't want to leave that, that destroyer. Able Mines! Ouch. There, we took care of him. He's now damaged. Uh, let's pull him back a little bit. Enemy contact. One to four. Not sure I want to put my uh, whole fleet out here. There we go. Got a good national morale boost on that. Let's uh, send you. All right. Can't do anything about it right now. All right, so our fleet is taking up a position higher up than what I was hoping, but uh, we're just going to leave you sit right there to keep that uh, raid going. Um, another sub we can move. Oh. And a battle cruiser. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on doing any type of uh, reinforcements with our navy right now. Probably going to need it down here um, what do we have here oh they retook Nancy and they've got an entrenchment of one Still got a Frenchman of one. And we don't have any shells left. Should be able to take him with this. There we go. Can we move anyone into Nancy? We can. Let's get some of these higher level troops up here. Okay. Two to two, that's not bad. I think that actually did anything. So hopefully, oh wow, really? Uh, 
have to move some of these guys around. Hopefully I can pull this off. Okay. How can I move in? I cannot. Oh, that sucks. They're just gonna retake Nancy. Uh, three to two here, two to two. Let's move you over here. Can't move him. Wow, that did nothing. This guy definitely needs to be reinforced here. 101, wow. Gonna spend all our uh, MPPs right here on the uh, Eastern Front. But we've got a pretty solid front line. Not entirely sure if Nancy's gonna hold on or not. <coughs> <laughs> but all right Move down into the med whoops one to four, okay. Ten percent chance. Let's see what happens here. There we go. I was kind of expecting a little more out of that attack. happened. That was crap. Do we have anyone else we can call down? I think they're all too far out of out of reach here. We did get this uh, armored cruiser, this French armored cruiser, down to one, so. So we can move you back and block them in. And put you back on the. Uh, on the blockade route. So it's not a total loss there. All right. Let's move up here.
Okay. Oh, you can't move now. But we can come down here with you. Wipe him out. Force you. I'm not gonna push my uh my headquarters unit right up in there. We'll actually pull him back and move you down like this. Trench and trench this guy. I'll probably upgrade him, but I'm not going to spend the money right now. We're just going to entrench over here. All right. We are starting to come around the back of them a little bit. Okay, so there's that. Now moving up to the Russian front. Fourteen. We can do to a level 7. That's a little better than what he was. Uh, let's entrench this guy. Not a 2-2 two two here, but there's really no point. Bring him up to full strength. He's already entrenched. I don't know why they're telling me I can. Uh, let's bring you... Oh, we can't bring you up. That's it for what we can do for the Germans. Okay. <laughs> Some trench here and here.
Got a lot of weaker units up here. Get rid of him. We can move you in. this guy we're broke though even get rid of this cavalry here back. not what I wanted to see him do I also don't want to put a level 5 up here, but what we got <sighs> Oh dear, okay on attacking any of these guys. And this guy can't pull back. We can entrench. Guess we can only entrench on three. Uh, we're already there. He's surrounded on both sides. Weak. Let's pull back a little bit. something here one to three okay he's not gonna last if I put him up there <clears throat> I think that's about what I'm... Oh, wait, no, we got the Ottomans, so... All right. I almost forgot about the Ottomans after five episodes of not being able to do anything with the Ottomans. Uh, so, Basra. Let's find Basra. Hold up. Ooh. 
to help if I knew a little bit about geography. There's Basra down there. Uh, we could operate nowhere. Um, I wonder if we could operate some of these guys. And operate them across land. No railways, I guess. Maybe we can force march this guy. Alright. So that wiped out his morale and readiness. Apparently we got a sandstorm going on here. all we can do. Maybe force march this guy. Oh. Well, let's put you back then. him down here. If I could send Greece UK shipping. Let's have you down here to blockade Egypt UK shipping. Alright, moving over to the Pesky Russians. This guy here. I just can't really move very far. Rain. Horse March. Let's get him. a force up there. All right. We can only hit him once, so... Unless we move 
in here, but I don't want to leave this open. Should be okay with as far as zone of control goes. Wow. This is a decent strike. about it. Uh, Ottomans have 71 for their... Let's see what we can do. Can we do anything with the Belgians? Try and sway them in favor. Spend 50 MPP on the Belgians. Sweden, Switzerland. Sweden's siding with us, or moving to side with us. Denmark... Bulgaria, Belgium. It'd be worth... Okay. Alright, now that's... Uh, I believe that's about it here. What we can do... Uh, infantry weapons is... 24% uh, infantry warfare, trench warfare, that's for the Ottomans. Uh, tank development is 53% for the Germans. Uh, 43 for artillery, airship development, that seems kind of pointless. Uh, trench warfare is at 19%, infantry weapons is at 18%. So... I don't think we can upgrade anyone just yet, just because we haven't gotten the uh, that level. I don't know if this would be this is even worth worth doing. Trying to come in here. Closer to the front here. Then we'll force march this guy over towards. And we can force march you too. Get these guys out and over here, kind of try and deal with the Bosra situation. Um. really about all I can do. Upgrade. I can reinforce him. Not by much, but it's something at least. you back on this national morale objective. Really need to be able to upgrade these guys. I don't want him coming down, but if I move him out, he's dead. So... We're going to leave them there. Um, I think I'm going to call this episode here. It's December 19th, 1914. Uh, we are moving through World War One. We're making some progress here and there, but uh, things are 
kind of on a static front all on the east and the west. Um, this is unfortunate right here. I, I would love to be able to move one of my units in here. Can I force march him down? I don't think I can force march him right into enemy territory. Because you know they're going to come along and just fill that with someone I can't take out. So it's a secondary supply and national morale objective. So I definitely want that. Belfort would be nice to have. Uh, but we are kind of poking through here. Uh, let's see. Forest. We are almost up to the Marn, so there's that. Uh, anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, uh, leave those in the comment section below. Um, if you'd like to follow along through the rest of our campaign here, as the Central Powers in World War One, hit the subscribe and come with us, and we will see you for the next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.